Okay, once you get an EV charger, do you need to get a home charger? Well, it depends. Uh, depends on um how. It depends okay. on availability, like right? whether availability, yes. you. Okay, so it, I guess for me it depends on a few things. Number one, are you staying in a landed property or a high rise property? Yeah. And then whether you have access to a charging network, uh, that that is convenient for you. Um. So for me, for example, right, I tried. I I have an EV, so I tried not installing a EV charger at home because it is a considerable cost. It can cost around three five thousand to maybe nine thousand ringgit, including installation and things like that. So it's not a cost that I wanna bear. Um, and also, you know, sometimes if you get a car, some brands provide the charger for you, but they yep. don't include the installation. Um. And also, if you look at cost eight thousand, right? They can buy a lot of charging for long charging credit credits for a long time. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Okay, so coming back to this, um, it depends on okay. So if you are staying in a landed property and you have access to a AC charger nearby or at your office, then maybe you don't need to install a home charger. You go to your office, you stay there for like what eight hours, six hours w- working, right? You come to the office, you plug it in. By the time you're going home, it's already fully charged. And if you don't have a charger at home, you might not need to charge it every day. Yep. Right. Uh, and also, you can rely on the DC charging, which is like you can you need uh, it only it only takes about maybe 15, 18, 20 minutes to charge your car from 20% to 80%, depending on the car. But if you don't, and if you want the convenience, I think investing in a home charger is good because it saves you a lot of time. Yep. It's good to be able to like uh plug in the car. So ca- let's say you drive home, uh, and the car is already twenty percent. If you don't have a charger at home, you have to figure out. Okay, I need to go to the office tomorrow, or I need to travel tomorrow. So I got a plan where I can charge my car for the next maybe thirty minutes, get a quick DC charge, and then go to my next destination. So there's some planning required. But if you have a charger at home, all you need to do is just Plug the car overnight, and by the time in the morning you're ready to go. This helps especially for long distance driving. I also want to add on that uh, I think most EVs come with the level one charger, the mm. home, the the three pin charger, the trickle charger, trickle la. charger yeah. one. That is actually quite okay if you're you don't really use a lot of mileage on a daily basis. Because I tried that mm. um eight hours overnight is mm. very long. I get about twenty percent charge, which can give about hundred kilometers. So mm-hmm. if your daily commute is like twenty or forty kilometers, it's still usable in that sense. I I yeah I agree, but uh I mean. If it was me, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it that much. Uh, a lot of the time, the three pin charge charger that 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 comes with your car is uh, always um, mentioned that it's for emergency use only. Unless you really don't have a charger or really need to charge the car, then you use this charger. Um, it's because it's not because of the component, but it's because the wiring in a lot of the houses in Malaysia is inconsistent. So some older houses might not be able to support the energy, the power draw, uh, or some plugs might have faulty wiring because I've seen a number of cases uh, where the plug itself or the uh, plug point itself melted when you're using the three pin charger. So you have to be careful about that. So to answer the question, do either you need a home charger or not? Uh, my recommendation is I tried using, uh, I tried living uh, with the car without a home charger, and I. In the end, decided to get one because I don't have easy access to a network. There's no charger at my office, uh, and I don't want to depend on DC charging too much. So I I got one. Uh, I think it's recommended to get one lah. 